Jay and friends, so in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how you can mint your Kryptonite NFT. And we are going to start from the very beginning from downloading your Metamask wallet to installing it and setting it up and then connecting it into the Mint website and finally viewing it on OpenSea as well. So let's get started. So first things first, if you're new, if you're a crypto virgin and you don't know what Metamask is, let's get started. So Metamask is a free to use browser extension and a smartphone app that allows you to interact primarily with the Ethereum blockchain, but also with other networks like the Polygon or Matic network. So the first thing is you search on Google for Metamask and you go to the Metamask website. Once you reach the Metamask website, click on download now. Now, Metamask is available on a variety of browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Edge. So I'm going to choose Brave. Once I choose that, I can click Add to Brave. Click on Add Extension. So let's wait here. And it has been shown that Metamask has been added. So we're set. So we've downloaded Metamask. And now I already have another Metamask wallet, but for this video, I'm going to set up a new one. So let's create a Metamask wallet. So here we are. So this is a generic message which asks, do you want to share some data? I'm going to choose no thanks because I don't want to share some data. Now I want to create my password. Now this password is your secondary password. Essentially, this is not your recovery phase, right? This is your MetaMask password. So I'm going to create a password of at least eight characters. And once I do that, I click on agree to the terms of use. It shows that Second. All right. So make sure both new password and the confirmed password are the same. Then you can watch this video, which talks about what your secret recovery phase is. So it's a 12 word phase. I recommend that you watch this video, but I've already watched it. So we will skip through this. Let's go to next. And now here it shows my secret recovery phrase, right? This secret recovery phase is very important. You should never share this with anybody. It's essentially like your master key. And also make sure no one should ever ask you for the secret recovery phase as well. Uh, you should store the secret recovery phase somewhere safe. Maybe write it down. So I'm going to click on Mind Me Later. And now I have set up my MetaMask wallet. Now you notice that this MetaMask wallet is on the Ethereum mainnet. What I want to do is I also want to add the Polygon network here. Right? So what I can do is I can click on Add Network. Once I click on add network, I need to fill up these details so that I can add the Polygon network here as well. Right, so these details can be found here. So this is how you can add your Polygon chain to your wallet. I'll add this doc in uh, the description as well. So you can scroll all the way to the bottom. As you can see, all the details are mentioned. Let's add the network name here. I'm just going to copy paste that. do is to add the chain ID and we can add the currency symbol I can add Matic and finally I need to add the block explorer URL now once I add this I click on save and as you can see now we have shifted from ethereum to the polygon mainnet and it shows that I have zero Matic now you'll need to add a little bit of Matic uh, the required amount for the mint and you also need to make sure that you have a little bit of matic for uh, gas fees right polygon generally has pretty low gas fees so that's one of the reasons a lot of people prefer polygon matic awesome so that is how you set up your metamask wallet uh, with the polygon network as well next we head over to the website i'll add some matic into one of my accounts and then we'll connect this wallet onto the website and mint our crypto all right, so now I've loaded up my account with uh, enough Matic for me to mint my NFT. Now, this is not the original NFT. Uh, this is in the staging website, but essentially what you will be getting is the exact same experience. Uh, but depending on the cost of what your NFT is, so if you're on the whitelist, that would be around $129. Uh, I would need to load up my wallet with the respective amount. Right? You also need to put in a little bit of uh, Matic for your gas fees. 
so I have loaded up my wallet with enough for me to make this test transaction. So I go onto the website and I click on connect wallet. So now I've connected my MetaMask wallet and I'm ready to mint my Genesis Kryptonite egg. As you can see, I can choose how many different uh, Genesis Kryptonite eggs I want to mint. For now, I'm going to choose one and I click on mint now. It also shows you that I can pay using USDT, USDC, Matic or Rapid if I have that in my wallet. So let me click mint now. Let me choose USDC. Approve USDC. There we go. They take me back to MetaMask. I'm going to click on confirm. And I will click on mint. As you can see, it's minting my NFTs. I need to confirm it one last time. It's minting my NFTs and sending my Kryptonite eggs safely to where they belong. All right, so congratulations to me. I am an owner. I have successfully minted one Genesis egg and I am part of the own history. If I want, I can mint more or I can share this on Twitter. And uh, I want to watch this. I want to go check this out on my OpenSea account. So let me do that as well. Here I am on OpenSea. I'm going to click on profile. I'm going to connect my MetaMask account. Done that. And as you can see, the Genesis Kryptonite egg is now on my OpenSea. So that's it guys, congratulations, it's as simple as that. This is how you mint your Genesis Kryptonite egg.